Guys, I am not kidding. That is like literally the most beautiful card I have ever seen. Whew! Laughing Pikachu here. Welcome back to another video and today is a Wednesday which means it's a news update day. Um, and for today's video I decided that it would be kind of cool to react to the new um, Shining Legends set. Um, basically this is a set that's first going to be releasing in Japanese. Um, July the 15th is the date it hits stores in Japan and then later we're going to be seeing it in English um, in October and the best way I can describe this set for the English people um, is it, it's going to be released sort of like Generations. So th one of the first products that we're going to be seeing is a Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box and then they also have hinted at some various other boxes and collections um, that also have these packs. So uh, from my understanding they are not going to release any sort of like English booster boxes of this set. Uh, we're only going to be seeing these packs released like throughout a time span of around a year um, in different um, products. And I think that this is actually going to be a really interesting set. There's some really nice cards. It's the first time in a very long time we have seen like shiny cards in abundance in these sets. And all of these shiny cards are going to have texture. There's also going to be full arts. And I believe there will also be secret rare, like hyper rare cards and secret rare trainer cards. At the time of recording this video, we have not seen any leaks of the hyper rares or the secret rare cards. We can, we can, of course, guess which cards are going to have hyper rares and stuff like that. Um, and of course, whenever we do get those updates, I will be sure to let you guys know. With that being said, we are going to pull up the screen right now. And this is basically um, what it looks like. So we're on Poke Beach right now. And what we're going to just do is sort of just go through the set. Um, I actually have not seen a lot of these cards. Um, there is one card that I do know about um, at the moment. And it's the Alolan Raichu. Or sorry, not the Alolan. The regular Raichu full art card. I did see that on, on Twitter. And um, because of that, I was sort of like inspired to create this video. Um, so with that being said, I, I think that there's a lot of interesting full art cards. I believe there's also some trainer cards that we can see. Um, and overall, I just I think it'll be fun to sort of like uh, look through this this set together. So first card that I noticed is a really awesome little Venusaur. And I actually did see this common card on um, on Twitter as well. But so let's go through the shiny. So there's actually a lot of really cool shiny cards. This Selby is really really cool. My two favorite ones I think are going to be the Lugia and the the Mew. And wow, I haven't seen this Shaman before. I really like the, the background of that. That looks cool. Alright, so we have a Shaman Hollow card. Uh, it looks like we also have a Verizion Hollow. I'm not sure what that blue Hollow card is. Ooh, Entei. I am so looking forward to seeing what the Entei Full Art card looks like. Uh, we should be getting one. I don't... I'm not... Actually, I'm not sure if there's a leak of the Full Art Entei quite yet. Again, we're, we're recording this video a little bit early. Um, it's July the 5th right now. And the set comes out in 10 days on the 15th. Um, so we might have to do a follow-up video very soon but with that being said oh look at that buizel i think the last time i can't even remember the last time we saw, saw a buizel card that manaphy is adorable is that a oh wow we get a palkia hollow i was not expecting that is there is there a diagonal oh we get a freaking Kel. wait i love this set so much keldeo mew pikachu are literally my three favorite pokemon and they are all in this set i just ah uh, oh Shining Volcanion. I think this has been out for a while, but I have not seen this yet. That that actually that looks really nice. Uh, it's like white, and then like this part's blue, and it's water type. Well, Volcanion has always been like water type, but that that looks nice. Um, and then we have Voltorb, Electro, oh, Pikachu. That's cute. That is that's cute. And you know, I I'm so mad at myself right now. So you know, on Ami Ami, you can like pre-order these boxes. And I didn't pre-order it in time, so right now pre-orders are closed. So I'm going to have to wait until the set officially releases and hopefully I can fix them up. But I have never been so excited for a Japanese set before. This is what the Raichu GX card looks like. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's, it's really nice. And we have a Raikou Holo card, which also looks really cool. And I, I appreciate the fact that they included a Raikou Holo um, and they included, you know, the Entei. GX, um, because, you know, before we saw the Suicune card, the Suicune Hollow card was included in one of the sets, and I was like, where are all the other legendary dogs? So now they're finally getting some love, so I definitely approve of that. We also seem to have a Zekrom Hollow, Ekans, Arbok, oh, a Jinx, that's, that's all, they always have interesting artworks for Jinx, and wow, that looks cool, a Mewtwo GX, very nice. And here is what is possibly one of my favorite cards in this set, the Shining Mew card. 
Shiny Mew has always been like literally like the, the coolest Pokemon. I think it's my second favorite Pokemon right after Pikachu. Like that's how much I like it. So I'm very excited about that. It looks like we also get a Shining Jirachi. Um, I'm looking forward to the full art. So those are the main Mew cards. Okay, Zoroark Break. This was also released fairly recently. It looks really stunning. Uh, I actually, I really like it. Um, and then we have the Eveltal Hollow. I feel like we have gotten so many Eveltal Hollows. Like, I mean, I'm not complaining. I think Eveltal is a really cool Pokemon, and I, I like it a lot. Um, but I feel like we just, we got a lot of them. And here is the Hoopa EX. It actually has some interesting attacks. If you want to, like, pause and read that right now, you can feel free to do so. <gasps> oh, that looks cool. Rayquaza and Shiny, and it's, like, black. Oh, that's cool. And we have a Shining Lugia with, like, a pinkish-purple color. That looks nice. And a Shining Arceus. And from my understanding, I think all of the shiny cards are going to be textured. I know for sure the Mew is textured. So it looks like we have a Great Ball Trainer card, as well as a Damage Remover. That looks interesting. We also get another Switch. We have a Pokemon Catcher and a How Supporter card. We also have Pokemon Breeder, Sophocles, Lily, Double Colorless Energy, Warp Energy, NTGX. Okay, so here's where the full arts come in. Now, we don't have all of the full art leaks at this time. But I will go through the ones that we have. So here's the, oh, oh, oh. This, I have seen this before. This is the Raichu full art. It's gorgeous. Like <laughs> this, this is a big deal for for many reasons. For at least for me, obviously I'm a huge Pikachu fan. Also, I'm a huge Raichu fan. We've seen multiple Pikachu EX cards. We've even seen like a Pikachu GX card. We saw a Pikachu GX card before we even saw a Raichu GX because we saw it in the Ash versus Team Rocket um, starter deck in Japan. And Raichu has always been a Pokemon that I feel like deserves a lot more love than it gets. I think the only time that we saw Raichu get like an ultra card was there's like an old school Raichu EX card and then there's a Raichu level X but like we have not seen any like in the more recent style of cards there's no like newer Raichu EX cards, there's no Raichu GX, we are finally seeing it here. The full art looks stunning, I cannot wait to see what the hyper rear looks like, I am just, I'm beyond excited right now, it's great. Um, oh, that's cool. I have not seen that. That's cool. Okay, me too. Let me show you my- let me share my thoughts on this. First of all, let me just say that that card looks beautiful. I think they did a fantastic job with that. Very, very pleased. My only complaint is I feel like we are getting a lot of Mewtwo cards. Just like, the same story goes with Gardevoir too. We saw a whole set centered around Mewtwo with the breakthrough set. We had like- I think a total of six Mewtwo full arts. We got the blue version and then like the red, the red version. So we got two of those. We got the Mewtwo full arts times two, and then we got two of the Mega Mewtwo full arts, and we got two Secret Rare Mewtwo's. And then within that set, we also got the Mega Mewtwo's. Um, and then in Evolutions, there was a Mewtwo. There, Mewtwo has gotten a lot of love, um, and I feel like Mew has not gotten an equal amount of love. It's gotten a lot, but nowhere near the same amount as Mewtwo. I'm honestly confused as to why they included a Mewtwo GX Full Art card rather than like a Mew Full Art card. I feel like a Mew Full Art would have done fantastic. Um, but you know, it's still a very beautiful card. I'm happy to see it. Um, kind of disappointed that they didn't give the love to a different Pokemon, but I honestly cannot complain. I think it's- oh, Wow, that, that, looks, that looks cool. Okay, that's a Zoroark GX Full Art. That's nice. Um, the GX card already looked great. That, whew, I, I like it. Zoroark has been a personal favorite Pokemon of, of mine as well. I know I'm saying that a lot of, about a lot of Pokemon, but ser seriously, Zoroark is great. Oh wow, Pokemon Breeder, that looks cool. We got a little like mill tank right there. That is awesome, that's very cool. And then we are also are probably going to be getting a Hyper Rare Raichu, Hyper Rare Mewtwo, Hyper Rare Zoroark, and then we also have this beautiful thing. This is another Mewtwo GX card. There are so many cool cards, and again, I do believe we will be getting some Secret Rare Trainer cards. I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being things such as the Pokemon, uh, the Damage Remover that we see right here, and possibly a Great Ball or an Energy Retrieval. Um, I think those have a chance of getting a Secret Rare simply because we have already seen a Switch Secret Rare. Um, maybe Pokemon Catcher? They might print that too, I don't really know. Um, and then how we already have a full art of that guy, so... I think we will get gold border energy cards, or not energy, gold, well, possibly energy too, but I think we will get gold border trainer cards, um, and I think it's going to be one of these guys right here. So anyways, with that being said, that was sort of my reaction to 
uh, these this new set, Shining Legends, is going to be releasing in English in um, in October, and I'm excited about this. This is basically Generations 2.0 as far as like the the way that they're releasing it. The cards, however, completely different. Um, and I think that it'll be a really interesting set. Um, I'm not sure what the pull rates will be for the secret rares, or sorry, not the secret rares, the shining cards. I'm hoping they are fairly, um, easy to find in the boxes, but I honestly have no idea. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys!